ಅದೇನು ಸರ್ ಅದು ಅದು ಡೊಂಡ್ ಮೆಣಸಿನಕಾಯಿ ಸರ್ ಬದನೇಕಾಯಿ ಸುಕ್ಕ ಗೋಳಗಾಯಿ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಯರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಜೋಳದ ರೊಟ್ಟಿ ಜೋಳದ ರೊಟ್ಟಿ ಹಲೋ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಹೌ ಇಸ್ एवरीबॉडी ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನೈಸ್ ಟು ಮೀಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಅಂಡ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಕಸಿನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಫ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೂರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸರ್ ಕುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಫೋಟೋ ಯೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ my mother is a big big fan of you thank, thank you started teasing me this is your superbata channel <laughs> hi sharan i am from chennai oh nice I to meet you i came to bangalore this weekend and i wanted to meet you so he is a big fan of yours hi what's your name you after seeing your video we went there then we found a common connection ah, and we found nice. that they are related to you us. know that's a beautiful thing with food food connects people right it's like joining <laughs> the dots hello i love your smile you're a big fan All four of us are contingent from California. It was very odd for people in restaurants. You know, I'd walk in, I had my cameras with me, and they'd be like, "Who's this bloke?" And I just walk in, right? Because I want to get the story raw. Being a food blogger, you travel a lot, have a lot of different cuisines. Some healthy, some maybe not so healthy. But how how do you keep yourself so fit? I'm always been inspired by the way the beautiful videos that you create. I think you have to be honest about whatever you do. ಟಮಟ್ಟ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ರೆಡಿ ಆಲ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲ ರೆಡಿ ಇದೆ ಸರ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಐಟಮ್ ಇವತ್ತು ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಐಟಮ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಬದೇ ಬದೇ ಬದನೇ ಕೆಣಗ ಆಗಲಿ ಡೊಂಡ್ ಮೆಣಸಿನಕಾಯಿ ಆಗಲಿ ಈ ಗೂಳಗಾಯಿ ಪಲ್ಯ ಆಗಲಿ ಜವಾರಿ ಚೋಳಿಕೆ ಆಗಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾನು ಖಾತೆಗಳ ತಯಾರಿಸಿದೆ ಸರ್ Fantastic. We can hear the rotis. Tata is there. Tata is there. Tata is there. So I am with Ravi Ganachari and his older brother Jayanna. So when did you start the cooking? I started the cooking. I started the cooking. I started the cooking. I started the cooking. Is this a good guy? Yes, it's a good guy. Okay. It's a good guy. So you can start the cooking? Yes, it's a good guy. Fantastic. ಸರ್ ಇದು ಕಟ್ಟಿನ ಸಾರು ಕಡಲೆಬೇಳೆ ಕಟ್ಟು ಕಡಲೆಬೇಳೆ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಅದರದು ವಾಟರ್ ತೆಗೆದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಇದನ್ನ ಕುದಿಸಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಈರುಳ್ಳಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮಸಾಲ ಐಟಮ್ ಹಾಕಿ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಗ್ರೈಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಡ್ರೈ ಕೋಕೋನಟ್ ಹಾಕಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಕಟ್ಟಿನ ಸಾರು ಇದು ಸಾರು ನುಗ್ಗೆಕಾಯಿ ಸಾರು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈ ಫೇವ್ರೇಟ್ ತೂರ್ದಾಲ್ ಹಾಂ ತೂರ್ದಾಲ್ ನುಗ್ಗೆಕಾಯಿ ಸಾರು ತೊಗರಿ ಬೇಳೆ ಸಾರು ಅಂಡ್ ಒಲೆಂದ ಸಬ್ ಕೋಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಎಣ್ಗಾಯಿ ಎಸ್ ಸರ್ ಬದನೇಕಾಯಿ ಎಣ್ಗಾಯಿ ಹಾಂ ಬದನೇಕಾಯಿ ಎಣ್ಗಾಯಿ ಮತ್ತು ಇದು ನಮ್ಮದು ಸೊಪ್ಪಿನ ಪಲ್ಯ ಸೊಪ್ಪಿನ ಪಲ್ಯ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನೇನು ಸೊಪ್ಪು ಇದೆ ಸಬ್ಬಕ್ಕಿ ಇದೆ ಮೆಂತ್ಯ ಇದೆ ಪಾಲಕ್ ಇದೆ ಕೆಂಪು ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಇದೆ ಕೆಂಪು ರಾಜಗಿರಿ ಅಂತಾರೆ ಪುಂಡಿ ಪಲ್ಯ ಇದೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಪುಂಡಿ ಪಲ್ಯ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಪುಂಡಿ ಪಲ್ಯ ಇದು ಹೆಸರು ಕಾಳು ಸರ್ ಹೆಸರು ಕಾಳು ಮುಂಗ್ಬೀನ್ ಮುಂಗ್ಬೀನ್ ಮುಗಿಚಿ ಮುಗಿಚಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಬಾಯ್ಲ್ ಮಾಡಬಾರ್ದು ಗೋಧಿ ಹುಗ್ಗಿ ಸರ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದ ಅಗದಿ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧವಾದ ಗೋಧಿ ಹುಗ್ಗಿ ದ್ರಾಕ್ಷ ಇದೆ ಬಾದಾಮ್ 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 ಇದೆ ಕ್ಯಾಸು ಇದೆ ಬೆಲ್ಲ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಶುಂಠಿ ಪುಡಿ ಶುಂಠಿ ಪುಡಿ ಡ್ರೈ ಜಿಂಜರ್ ಡ್ರೈ ಜಿಂಜರ್ ಜಾಜಿಕಾಯಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಇಲಾಯ್ಚಿ That is the junka, made of the chickpea. Yes, yeah, chickpea. In Gujarati style, it's called Dokla. 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 But this is the same thing. It's called Kadle Bele. It's called Kadle Bele. It's called Kadle Bele. It's called Kadle Bele. It's called Mungdal. Mungdal. What is that, sir? 
ಅದು ದೊಣ್ಣ ಮೆಣಸಿನಕಾಯಿ ಸರ್ ನಾವು ದೊಣ್ಣ ಮೆಣಸಿನಕಾಯಿ ಉತ್ತರ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಖಾರ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಖಾರ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇದರ ಪೇಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿದೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಪೇಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಸಕಸೆಯ ಕಸಕಸೆ ಇದೆ ಶೇಂಗಾ ಇದೆ ಎಳ್ಳು ಇದೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಹಚ್ಚಿ ಕೊಬ್ಬರಿನೂ ಇದೆ ಒಣ ಕೊಬ್ಬರಿನೂ ಇದೆ ಬದನೇಕಾಯಿ ಸುಕ್ಕ ಬದನೇಕಾಯಿ ಸುಕ್ಕ ಗೋಳಿಗಾಯಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಸುಕ್ಕ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಇದು ಹಾ ಸುಕ್ಕ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಸರ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಯರ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಜೋಳದ ರೊಟ್ಟಿ ಜೋಳದ ರೊಟ್ಟಿ ಹಾ ಜೋಳದ ರೊಟ್ಟಿ ಜೋಳದ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಜೋಳ ಆದ್ರೆ ಈ ತರ ಆಗಿ ಈ ತರ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಎಕ್ದಮ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕ್ರಂಪಲ್ ಆದ್ರೆ ಓಪನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಪನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಾಂದ್ರೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರು ಜೋಳ ಇದ್ರೆ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಕ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಇದು ನೋಡಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಇದೆ ಎರಡು ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಎರಡು ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಜೋಳದ ರೊಟ್ಟಿ ಬೆಣ್ಣೆ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಪಲ್ಯ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಎಣ್ಗಾಯ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ತರ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಹಾಲೊಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ತಿನ್ಬೋದು ತುಪ್ಪ ಹಾಕಿ ಹಾಲ್ ಹಾಕಿ ತಿಂದ್ರೆ ಏಲಕ್ಕಿ ಇದೆ ಡ್ರೈ ಕೋಕೋನಟ್ ಇದೇ ರೋಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಚಪಾತಿ ಗೋಟ್ ಚಪಾತಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಕೈಲಿ ತಿಕ್ಕಿ ಸೊ ಇದ್ರು ಚಪಾತಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ತಿಕ್ಕಿ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಹೌದೌದು ಮತ್ತೆ ದಾಲ್ ಬೇಳೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಹಾಕೋದು ಸರ್ ದೊಣ್ಣ ಮೆಣಸಿನಕಾಯಿ ಪಲ್ಯ ದೊಣ್ಣ ಮೆಣಸಿನಕಾಯಿ ಪಲ್ಯ ವೆಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಸಮಡಿ ಆಫರ್ಸ್ ಯು ಸಮ್ ಫುಡ್ ಟು ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ನೆವರ್ ಸೇ ನೋ ಸರ್ ಗುಳಗಾಯಿ ಪಲ್ಯ ಉತ್ತರ ಕನ್ನಡ ಕಾಶಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಗುಳಗಾಯಿ ಪಲ್ಯ ಗುಳಗಾಯಿ ಪಲ್ಯ ಬಾಯ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಪಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ತಿಂದಾಗ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ತೊಂಡೆಗಾಯಿ ಇದಾರ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಹುಣಸೆ ಹಣ್ಣು ಕೂಡ ಹಾಕ್ತಾರ ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಹಾಕ್ತಾರ ಹುಣಸೆ ಹಣ್ಣು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಬೇಕು ಬೆಲ್ಲನ ಹಾಕಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಕಾಯಿ ಕಾಯಿ ಜವಾರಿ ಚೋಳಿಕಾಯಿ ಜವಾರಿ ಚೋಳಿಕಾಯಿ ಜವಾರಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಜವಾರಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾಟಿ 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 ಚೋಳಿಕಾಯಿ ಒಗ್ಗರಣೆ ಇದೆ ಮಸ್ಟರ್ಡ್ ಇದು Fantastic. I think we've seen all that we had to see here. Let's go out and meet our guests at the first ever Food Lovers TV meetup. Let's go. Hello, Namaskara. How's everybody doing? Namaskara, how are you? Uh, good to see you. Uh, good, to, good to see you. Yeah. Uh, great, great, great. Hello. my cousin is a very big fan of yours okay sir could i have a photo yes of course <laughs> good to meet you guys where do you live i wait card godi wait field oh that's a long yeah. way thank yeah. you for making the trek my mother is a big big fan of you your wife she thank keeps watching your thank camera thank you very now. much like all your vlogs oh, sir meet you thank you so much it's Fun. always by default is running sir your, your, your youtube always, channel sir. your thank personal you. channel thank you thank you started teasing me this is your superbata channel <laughs> <laughs> namaskara hello hello i'm so excited to see you okay my thank you and i are huge fans thank you very much rashmi from mysore sir oh from mysore uh-huh. oh lovely i love the city yeah, yeah mysore takes me back to where 
to my memories of Bengaluru 25 years ago. Oh, okay, yeah. nice. And you and uh, your wife did a heritage walk. No, That's sir, right. It was a really you nice like this? Thing. Yeah, convey my. We also enjoyed the Nanjan Good Rasapale. Correct. Kanu? Correct. Yeah. yeah. They follow all your vlogs, sir. Very nice. Thank you very much. What's your name? Karunakar. Karunakar. Nice to meet you. Sandeep Sanapur. Nice. I am also from Mumbai. Oh, you're from Mumbai. Mumbai, good day. Dombivli. Dombivli. Vivek. Hi, Vivek. Nice to meet you. I'm from Mangalore. Oh, you're from Mangalore. Yeah. Ah, Urdu. <laughs> He's a big fan of yours. Hi, what's your name? Abhudai. Abhudai. That's a very nice name. He only keeps seeing all your videos. And yeah. Videos. Okay, wonderful. Hi, I'm Sharan. I'm from Chennai. Oh, nice I to meet you. I came to Bangalore soon. this weekend and I wanted to meet you, so it was really uh, you know, that I could meet you here. My pleasure. Really big, big fan of yours. My pleasure. So whenever we plan a trip, the first thing is like where to eat, then he sees I your see, vlogs, yeah. and then he. I love the way you have highlighted, you know, regional cuisine. It's really inspiring. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Happy to have you here. Please make yourself comfortable. I'm around for the next one hour. I'm a little star No, no. <laughs> Namaskara. Nice to meet all of you and thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank We're just going to do a little uh, hi hello there. Thank you. Uh, no, it was nice. It was nice to have this sort of a platform, this sort of a space to do this with some delicious food. Which item are you looking forward to eat? <laughs> so there's something called a Jonna Mensinkai. So that's basically a nati capsicum. It's a small one and it packs a punch. Nice. And they've prepared it in the style of a yen guy. So it's very different. So with the sesame and all of that, so you'll taste that. So you'll taste a bit of spiciness, you'll taste a bit of nuttiness that comes. And uh, that, and there's also something called a gullakai. Have you ever heard of a gullakai? I had never seen one till this morning. <laughs> Holige, I saw. Holige, you saw, but there are also a couple of other things. Maybe one of them you may have tasted, the other one I'm not sure because that's something that I tasted for the first time too. Nice. See, doing something like this has allowed me also the opportunity to. Because when I go to the restaurant, they of course give me a nice jodada roti uta. But then when they learn, there are about 140 of you also joining me for lunch. I said, okay, fine, let's pull out all the stops. <laughs> So that's what seems to have happened in the kitchen. Hello. I've got my daughter here. What's your name? Shraddha. Shraddha. Lovely to meet you, Shraddha. So I think we have watched pretty much all the uh, series which, which came. I think we started following you once the, you know, the COVID hit and we both uh. were stuck at home. You have gone to some places in Mysore which I personally didn't know. Especially the Maratha mess and everything. We speak Marathi, but ah, lovely. apparently they are somewhere related to us. Oh, wonderful. After seeing your video, we went there, then we found a common connection ah, and we found nice. that they are related to you us. You know, that's a beautiful thing with food. Food connects people, right? It's like joining <laughs> the dots. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from. I think the love for food brings people together. Absolutely. Yeah. All four of us are a contingent from California. We've come back and ah. relocated to India for good. And a Saturday morning ritual would be watching your video. Huh. And then in California. In California. Yeah. And then yeah. 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 All four of us. So in fact, uh, about 30% of our viewership is the Indian diaspora overseas. So over the next couple of years, I intend to also visit these parts and connect with food lovers there. Formal Namaskara to everybody. This is Kripalamana Gourmet on the Road and you're not watching Food Lovers TV. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming uh, from different parts of Bengaluru. For those of you who know of the work that I have done in the past, I used to be in the food space but in a very different ecosystem. We used to do a lot of work with uh, the top brands, hotels, restaurants, tell their stories. And we used to do a lot of commissioned work, corporate work, etc. But somewhere along the line, I realized there were many stories that were not being told because they didn't fit into plans. They didn't fit into the way people look at things. And I thought uh, that was sad. So one day I decided that I'm going to give up all my corporate work. And uh, I put four of my team members, I put them in a car and I drove to Mangalore. You know, they say when you want to do something new or when you are in some sort of a dilemma, you always go back to where you began. So perhaps, I mean, I didn't think of it then, but uh, Mangalore is where I was born. So I just 
put all these guys in the car and we went to Mangalore. I told the cinematographers, I said, be ready tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. with your cameras. So next morning, they're ready at 9 a.m. with the cameras and they say, which hotel are we shooting? They meant a five-star hotel or a fine dining restaurant. I said, we're not shooting any. Okay, who's the chef that we're going to talk with? Because until then, we were doing a lot of video work, but I was behind the scenes, I was producing the content, I was uh, writing storyboards, I was giving words, voice to chefs, restaurateurs, and I would generally orchestrate the whole show. So they said, who's going to be the chef? Who's going to be talking to the camera? I said, well, we don't have a chef, but you know what? I'm going to speak to the camera. And we're going to try and find stories that nobody has talked about before. And that's how we spent four days in Mangalore. And I think we shot about eight, nine episodes. It was very odd for people in restaurants. You know, I'd walk in, I had my cameras with me and they'd be like, who's this bloke? And I just walk in, right? Because I want to get the story raw. I don't want things to be orchestrated. I want things to be in their natural form, in their natural elements to the extent possible. So anyways, we shot eight or nine episodes, which I thought was okay. And we came back and we started editing them and we began releasing them one by one. To me, that was the Eureka moment. We heard about viral videos and this and that, but I never really knew how it happened, right? Nobody starts out by saying, I want to create a viral video. If you start out by saying that, it's not going to happen. In 2019, March end, I think we had about 3,000 odd subscribers. And then it exploded. And that's thanks to people like you. Thanks to food lovers like you. And I'm really grateful for many people like you who have watched the show and not only watched the show, but have also supported it with your presence at those establishments, at those places whose stories we were telling. I think that's important. So a big round of applause to all of you out here. During the pandemic, we saw many people going through some tremendous struggles in and around Bengaluru in Karnataka. So that's when we decided that we want to tell those stories. We want to support them. I personally feel that traditional food Traditional cuisine needs to be showcased. So today, for example, in our homes, we're probably fortunate enough to some, have some of the traditional food being prepared and all of that. But when I look at things one generation down the line, two generations down the line, the only places where you will find these traditional experiences are places like these. These will be custodians of a culinary legacy, of a culinary cultures. And therefore, I feel we should encourage and showcase these. If not for places like these, we wouldn't exist. Which also brings me to where we are today. We are at Basaveshwar Khanavali, an establishment, a culinary institution that goes back uh, 60 years. Can you imagine 60 years for a restaurant to not only survive, but thrive, prosper 60 years across generations? And today, of course, we have the first and the second generation and the third generation as well. So that's Mr. Jayana, Mr. Ravi Ganachari, Shreyan, Mr. Pai, who's their partner here in Bengaluru, in Jayanagar third block. And uh, there's Gautam Shanbag as well. There is Amit Pai, who's uh, diligently put this whole thing together. You know, a big round of applause to him. I came here at about 11 o'clock, but Ravi and uh, Jayanda, they've been here since 7, 7.30 in the morning. You know what? Doing what? Cooking the dishes. That is commitment. They are owners, but when you see them in the kitchen, it'll be very difficult for you to tell who's the owner, who's not. Today, of course, they've uh, spruced up a bit to come and talk to you, but otherwise you will see Ravi happily beating away the jolada roti. In fact, I took a Michelin star chef from London, one of my friends, to him and he taught him how to make the jolada roti. Even there's two restaurants in the Basavesh of Kanavli all over. All over, sir. Hubli Darwad, one end branch there. So, Bengaluru only Ombatu branch there, sir. End to end Ombatu, 17 restaurants. A lot of the produce that you see in this restaurant comes from North Karnataka. Notwithstanding all that, you may sit in this wonderful surrounding today. You know how they had the beginning? They began in Dharwad as a small eating house for students in their home. He is the founder of Basavishwara in 1963. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
ಸೊ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಹೋಗ್ತಿದ್ವಿ ಸ್ಕೂಲಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಿದ್ವಿ ನಾವು ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಧಾರವಾಡ ಧಾರವಾಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಮನೆಯಿಂದ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಸೊ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಬಸವೇಶ್ವರ ಕಾರಣ ಅಂತ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಐದು ರೂಪಾಯಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಊಟ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಹೋಗ್ತಿದ್ವಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಜರ್ನಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಯಿತು ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೋರೀಸ್ ದರ್ ಐ ಲವ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಟೆಂಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಸಿಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಮೈ ಜೋಳದ ರೊಟ್ಟಿ ಊಟ ಬಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮೀ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ಗೈಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಮೋಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಟು ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ನೋ ಹೋಪ್ಲಿ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ನೈಸ್ ಲಂಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಡಸ್ ಎನಿ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಮೀ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ಫುಲ್ನೆಸ್ ಸೊ ಅ ಬಿಗ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ರುಟೀನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಬ್ಸ್ಟಿನೆನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಫುಡ್ ಮೈ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಮೀಲ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲಂಚ್ ಯೆಸ್ಟರ್ಡೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಈವ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಡ ಲಿಟ್ರಲಿ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಬ್ರೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಐ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಏಟ್ ಅ ಜೋಳದ ರೊಟ್ಟಿ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಸೊ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ when did i realize i was a foodie or a food lover you know there was no realization that dawned on me to be honest but when i look back at memories that i have right i can still vividly remember the aroma of that masala that my mom would have me grind on the kadiwa kallu i still remember if it was a treat and if there was something special at home as i walked up the steps after returning from school i would smell the aroma of my mom's pulao two floors down so i i don't think it's about calling yourself a foodie or something i think it's about being aware i was very fussy also what's the most interesting weird food you've tried and what is interesting about it you know to me whatever i eat or whatever i taste in some cases people want to eat something just to prove a point that i've eaten that uh i don't do that you know i'm very mindful of what i want to eat and what my audience would love to eat so when i go out i want to do a story where all of you can participate where all of you can go out there and enjoy so that's my whole objective So what are your names sorry I'm I'm Smita Smita Siddhalingam Siddhalingam Murthy so are you together Yes uh, one group one group Ah oh, this is my favorite this is a godi ubbi have you tried it Yeah Yeah, yeah. Oh so me and my sister so we are from uh, my dad is from Dharwad my mom is from Bijapur we are from Belgaum This is uh, something special ah uh, madli you must be knowing right this i tasted for the first time today so do you have any favorites in this ah this is gavadi so this can something which we can have throughout and yeah a lot of these as well correct bird especially yeah yeah so what are your favorites followed you uh, are Uh, few videos uh, huh. uh, especially on the intermittent fasting your old photos and now lot of difference <laughs> sir go oh, tomato ketchup sir tomato ketchup yeah you should try that the uh, green tomato yeah try tomato yeah mm very nice So thank you very much for your company and for putting up with me. Yeah. I'm going to take leave now and I hope you enjoy the rest of your meal. very difficult to leave with all those goodies and knowing that more will come 
Well, but today is not about me or the food. It's about the people out here in this room. Hey, get there, Uta. Much enjoyed. Chana, get there. I never dreamt also that this day will come. Aram Delhi, Uta, Madi. Sumar Inu sa Sumar bage the. I just followed the way you taught me, sir. How to eat? Ah. So he was he was teaching me and putting the same thing. The rolls. You put the chutneys inside? Yeah. It's like a healthy roll. Yeah. How is everything here? Testimony is in the meeting. Ah. This cousin is 94. I think it must be one of your oldest. Yeah. We should never compromise and sacrifice the authenticity of the unique food. It is not really food, as you said. It is culture. Boli ke with peanuts was just spectacular. Shenga boli ke. Yes. Shenga boli ke yum. Kadak. Are you enjoying it? I'm more important, yeah. more interested to know if you're enjoying it. Yeah, it's very nice. What was your favorite dish here? Ah, that's a eggplant, yeah. the brinjal. You like brinjal? Wow. Ah, uh, you're on the rice. So I hope you you've done justice to everything before that. Oh, really? You're the man. You're the man. I wish I could be because I can never do that. Man, so bari eight day unda. Bari eight day unda. Thank you very much. No. Very speciality la unda. And the bari taste unda. I have not eaten so many dishes in a single meal in a very very. Really. But I hope it's not like we're tying you down and punishing you with. It's amazing. Totally enjoying. How's it going? Batting. Super. The authenticity is very great. I love this sambar with nugget. With the nugget guy. That's one of my favorite vegetables. Yes. Are you enjoying your meal? What do you like? Huh? Holy cow. Ah, you want some more? You sure? Super idea, Ella. Ah, well, ado nimdo donne guy. It's become a hit. wonderful day thank you very much thank you well i think most people seem to be having a terrific time i think the folks out here at basmeshwar khanavli have pulled out all stops in terms of the produce that they've got in here and also in terms of the various preparations people asked me as to why i'm not sitting and eating but i told them i say you keep you watch me eat all the time but it's very rare that i get to watch you eating and that's what i've been doing going across table to table speaking with people finding out what they are enjoying about the food and also some interesting conversations very happy hope to like you know we would love to host you in chennai once you're there like how are you doing here i haven't come to say such a lovely celebration your daughter is no she is in the uk ah okay i'm celebrating for her so i hope you send the pictures and all of that huh just the pictures your career so well balanced yeah I think uh, the North Karnataka meal is, in my opinion, terribly underrated. But it's one of the healthiest meals, yeah. Yeah. food that you can eat. we don't know how to thank you he had a tuberculosis due to tuberculosis he lost his appetite okay uh, so afterwards he didn't he used to refuse to eat then he just used to scroll youtube then he came across your channel and he became a big fan he used to see your videos then he started to develop that craving to eat something so that's how he recovered so um, that's the reason i just came from whitefield to meet you thank i mean i, I wish your dad Speedy and a strong recovery. How is he doing now? Yeah, he's doing great. Ah, hello. Ah, ते बोलता था बगावत हो जाए. Hello. Hello, नमस्कार सर. नमस्कार. हाँ, निम्न तो चाहे नहीं करना तो कहना. Thank you sir. ये भी तो तेरे निम्न तो रोड मार्ट के लाल रोड रोड के लिए. Thank you sir. ये इंटरी थैंक यू इंटरी यार तो तू कहीं करना ना इंटरेस्टेड है. Thank you, thank you, sir. निम्न हेल्थ एक दे देगा. I came from all the way from Mandya to meet you because I don't want to miss your chance to meet you. Thank you so much. What's your name? Vinayak. Vinayak. Yeah. From Mandya. Mandya. Hi. Harman Preet Singh. Maharman Preet Singh. Yeah. 
like I've been following you, especially yeah. your bike vlogs. Oh, yeah, are you a motorcyclist? Yeah, I have a. I just recently bought Super Meteor 650. Oh, uh, nice. Bike. Powerful machine. Yeah, it's powerful. Right. Take it nice and easy, slow and steady wins the race always. Yeah, that's right. So happy to see you. Namaskar. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All the while seeing you on, seeing you on TV now. What's your name, sir? Gurraj. So lovely. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. Huh? Hello, My sir. family. Ajay. Hi, Ajay. All the family. Hello. family. Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very huge fan of yours. Yeah. Ah. So are you all one family? Yeah. Ah. yeah. So I think you're the biggest table here. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Hi. Venkat Raj. Hi Venkat. Hello, I love your smile. You're a big fan. Yeah? You watch my show? Morning morning uh, breakfast, again lunch, again dinner. He's had, having you there. Wonderful. Then I must be talking to you, not to your parents. How are you doing? Uh, what's your name? Sartak. 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 Hello. Sabji food. Yes, sir. Restaurant. We are doing the Ubley leader, sir. Name is sir. No. Govind. Govind. Parshuram. Parshuram. Hello. Hi, my son. I am a big fan. Hi. How are you? What's your name? Ishan. Ishan. You watch my show? Yeah. We are basically from MP. We moved to Bangalore only six years back. But after coming here, I think we have big time. We like our food tastes have totally shifted. Lovely. A lot of very close to you. Thank you, but I hope you're enjoying what you're tasting. Yeah, I mean, all of our uh, itinerary, travel itineraries are actually driven by you know the places you have gone. You've gone to. We try to cover most of the places that we do. Yeah. Thank you. My name is Rakshit. Hi, hi, Rakshit. Hi, nice to meet you. Hello. My sister Meghna. Hi, Meghna. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Been a big fan. Been okay. Of, uh, Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hello. That's a pleasant surprise. I didn't know that you guys were coming. Yeah. How are I you? Sit. Hello. I'm Pooja. Hi Pooja. Are all of you settled? Yes. Are hungry? Yes. Big appetite? Yes. Wonderful. I'm very hungry too. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little uh, formal introduction there. So if you guys want, you can come there. Uh, we're not going to serve anybody food till we finish there. <laughs> Thank you very much for uh, being with us this afternoon. Uh, I think there are some of you who made uh, the trek from Jigni. I met somebody who's come from Mandia. I met uh, somebody who's come all the way from Hebal. In the current uh, times that we live in, if somebody travels over half an hour, 45 minutes to meet you, that means they must be loving you. <laughs> so I'm honored. I don't know if I'm worthy of your love, your affection, but thank you so much. I began with magazines, then we went digital, and then I realized video was a big thing. So we set up our video team as early as eight years ago, because I knew, you know, when you watch a video, you don't even have to flip a page, no? You can just consume it very passively. But somewhere I felt about four years ago that the stories that needed to be told, the true stories were not being told because they did not fit into agendas. And that's how we began. I did not know what a viral video is. I did not go out saying I want to create a viral video. But it's food lovers like you who appreciated those stories. And we have evolved since. So I think firstly a big round of applause to all of you. <laughs> to all of you because you are the ones who watch those stories. You, have the, you are the ones who have shared those stories. You are the ones who have been moved by those stories to go out to those eateries and support many, many such establishments that we are also going through very difficult times. I am very happy to have with me here the Basaveshwar Khanavli family. Mr. Prabhu Ganachari. Mr. Mrutin Jai Ganachari and he is the third generation. <laughs> Second generation and the third generation. So this is a business that transcends three generations. You know, today we are all blessed perhaps in our homes. We have, we ourselves perhaps, 
or we have sisters, mothers, brothers, relatives who cook for us these regional delicacies. But imagine one generation down the line, two generations down the line, you will not find these foods in homes. Right at the way society is moving, at the pace at which we are moving, at the pace at which we are moving to different parts of the country world, the only place where you will find these culinary traditions are in spaces like this. Today, the meal that you're going to savor, I think is going to be very interesting. Of course, I'm sure many of you have had uh, Jolada Roti Uta, perhaps visited their places. But today they've gotten for us some very interesting uh, ingredients from Hubli. Jawari, Donomensen Kai, which you will taste. Gulda Kai, which is there. There's many interesting things that you will find all your, on your Bale LA today. Today is an opportunity for you to ask me whatever question you want to ask me. I enjoy it. I have always been inspired by the way the beautiful videos that you create. So if you could help us, like, if you want to start off, not only in food blogging but any form of blogging, how do you structure such a beautiful video? How do you proceed with it for the first time? I think you have to be honest about whatever you do. So my advice to anybody who wants to do vlogging of any kind or let's say who wants to tell stories is to first feel the story. Sometimes I'm also called an influencer, although, although I don't call myself that. To exert influence, you need to have something in you that will exert that influence through the work that you do. And I think at the end of the day, there's no, there's no path, there's no structure saying this is how you're going to do it. You are a different individual, I'm a different individual, he's a different individual. Everybody has different styles, but I think some way we all connect. Which is your favorite dish from your process? So there are many dishes that she does. So things like the Nuchina Unde with the Majjige Hulli. She does a very nice tomato rice. She does the Badle Kai as well. You know, the one dish that I wish she makes enough for me, but she doesn't, is a Masal Vade. <laughs> she said, no, you can have a Masal Vade only once in six months because she knows I'm going outside and eating all the masal vadeas I want. This is a friend from Mandya, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So we all love your narration, sir. Like uh, we know we can't download food, but the way you narrate, you can actually see that food is getting downloaded very. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, uh, were you all good uh, in, with this narration from the long, or did, did you do some any extra preparation for that to narrate in a better way? Okay. Thank you. Very kind. You know, I believe that my command or mastery over English is. Perhaps a little better than average. My objective is, and I always tell the people this, I want to give voice to food. So let's say if that uh, Jorla the Roti had to speak for itself, had to speak to you and tell you what it is all about, it can't. I try to do that. Do you cook as well? I love cooking, and um, but I don't find as much time to cook anymore. During the lockdown, I used to cook a lot more. This is called the teasel gourd. This is a vegetable that I discovered. Uh, you know, it looks a bit like a cucumber, mango cucumber. It tastes like a tonde kai. When you are going to regional restaurants and speaking in English, so how are the people like? Were they like, uh, I mean, you would also have some. Uh, so my objective behind doing the show in English is very simple. I want these stories to travel far and wide, right? So sometimes when you use a regional language, and I'm very respectful of all languages, including Kannada, and many a times I get comments directed saying, you know, speak Kannada, <laughs> speak Kannada more, and all of that. So the one transformation is uh, that. Earlier, I would get comments saying, Kannada Matarli ka bara lava. Meaning, you can't speak very well. But today, I get comments saying, speak more Kannada, which means they have accepted my Kannada and they're saying, speak more of it. But what my objective is that the story behind the food needs to be told. But what about how do you do your research and how do you step in there and how do you recognize this place was there? For me, that's an easy part now because. We have over two and a half million followers, subscribers like you who keep pointing us in different directions. 
So we make note of suggestions we get, we do research and then we go. How's the Any food? particular episode that you recall that like, was one of your favorite or the best? I think the most memorable episode will always be the one I did with uh, Appu sir. You know, some of my uh, most watched episodes have been those in very humble settings. You know, I went to one vade shop in Jayanagar. I went to one old couple doing a biryani to earn a livelihood. That's become a... Yeah. So you find the most interesting stories in very unexpected settings. How's it going? I'm actually enjoying the roti with the various chutneys. That's he says you will taste about 27 dishes and all. Each of those 27 has its own flavor, its own character, its own personality. So and you will taste it distinct in that. Are you enjoying your meal here? Yeah? Loved it. It's our second visit actually. Ah, okay. First visit obviously we saw yours and we wanted to try. We went to Malaysia. Junka is the highlight. Junka is the highlight. And half a dozen of them. What is your favorite? This is the first time I've tried it. The Junka? Yeah. So have you tried it with the roti? I have. Now we have to wait and see that big bite. Are you enjoying your? Yeah. <laughs> ah, you're already on the rice course. <laughs> so I hope you ate all of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Banana leaf is usually. Super. <laughs> Very tasty. Yeah, super. All good? Yes, amazing. First time we are uh, tasting North Karnataka. Yeah. That was the attraction to also, you know, Wonderful. to meet you and of course the second one is that. Wonderful. Okay, smile. Kutkoli, Kutkoli, Aram, you are busy with the So basically, everybody enjoying their uh, Jola the Roti Uta here at uh, Basaveshwar Khanavli. But it's thanks to Ravi and his brothers and everybody. And Gautam here, of course, has also been very instrumental in the orchestration of this whole experience. It's so nice to watch people enjoy their meals. All the arrangement, Madhidharam, Gautam or uh, Thanks to Gautam. Thanks to Gautam. Nana Gautam here, sir. I have item, I have a menu, I have a lot of Okay, done. I have to go to the And of course, Gautam is somebody we don't hear from much. He is one of the silent partners at uh, Basaveshwar Ghanavli. He is an architect by profession, am I allowed to say that? And so, the space that you see, whether it's in uh, Jayanagar, Koramangala, he has a lot to do with the shape of it. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Huh? I feel the food is not celebrated as much as it should be. This particular cuisine. Yeah. Because you don't find this kind of, uh, you know, ambience for this kind of food. Yes. 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 And which is, I think, what all the people who've been a part of this wonderful meetup here uh, at Vasaveshwar Khanavli have enjoyed. Thank you very much, Ravi. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir. Uh, <laughs> uh, wonderful. I think we'll say goodbye to some of our guests and then sit down to finally savor. Some Uta ourselves. Huh? What's your full name, sir? Sakulesh. Sakulesh Chakute. 
Hello Anshul, I'm very happy to meet your father today and he tells me it's your birthday. I wish you were also here so that we could celebrate your birthday together. But nonetheless, happy birthday, wish you a fantastic day, great year ahead and happy eating. Do well in life, God bless you. So nice of you to come. Thank you very much for coming all the way from Whitefield. Our pleasure. It means a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good job. Well, as you can see, our uh, banana leaf is now brimming, is replete with all the North Karnataka, the Uttara Karnataka specialities that the Ganachari family mm -hmm. has so lovingly prepared. I think after this successful meetup, it's time for the people behind the scenes who've been working over the last few days, organizing it, cooking the food in the kitchen, and also making sure that everybody has a great time. I think it's time for all of them to savor the fruits of their labor in this Uttara Karnataka Jolada Roti Uta. And of course, you know me, I'm always game for a great meal. So I hope you enjoyed this very special meetup coverage, the first ever food lovers meetup. And I'm so happy that we got to do this at Basaveshwar Kanavli. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, stay strong, and happy eating. eating. <laughs> If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating!